Hello! Today we'll be going over the top nursing databases we have available at Shared Library. In this video, we'll cover ProQuest Family Health Database. From the Shared Library homepage, you can find the Family Health Database in multiple locations, under one of our Research Guides or via A to Z databases. From A to Z databases, you can view all of our available databases and other resources. In this case, we're going to go to F and then Family Health Database. A new tab will open and direct you to the Advanced Search ProQuest page. If you are asked to provide a login, use your ETSU credentials. On this page, you will see all the options for a search including limiters, filters, and date restrictions. You can also look at search tips at the top and a thesaurus. Remember, databases do not automatically know most synonyms for your search terms, so you need to provide them. Many of our databases' advanced search pages look similar. There are several blank fields where you'll input your search terms. They are separated by the drop-downs for AND, OR, AND NOT. You'll see the default to Search In Anywhere. This is where you can narrow your search to the abstract, by subject, or by publication. For this example, we'll use the search terms Pregnancy, OR, Prenatal, and Nutrition. For more on how to decide on your keywords, please watch the other guides in the series, such as Introduction to Academic Research. As you can see when I begin typing, it offers suggested terms. You'll want to look at these as they may have some good related terms you can incorporate in your own search. As you can see, the database is suggesting the term pregnancy and prenatal care rather than pregnancy or prenatal care. So we can get the most results, we want to go ahead and keep the OR, but add CARE. We're going to do the same thing with nutrition or diet. Going back to our fields, we're going to choose abstract for each. This ensures that the subjects we have in the bar here are mentioned in the summary of the article. Scroll down to see optional filters. This is where you find date restrictions and peer-reviewed only options, among others. We're going to leave peer-reviewed checked. In nursing, articles that are up to three or five years old are generally preferred, which you can filter for here. Under publication date, we'll go to the drop-down menu and do last three years. You can also do custom dates here. I suggest leaving the full text search unchecked as you are typically able to get articles from another database or via interlibrary loan. We can also filter for source types, so magazines, articles, books, etc. Or, if you wanted to, we can filter for document type. This will narrow your results significantly as many articles default to journal type. For this example, we're going to go ahead and filter for case studies. Now we're going to hit search. As you can see, this search brought up zero results, so we need to rethink our search. It's also giving us some alternative searches to try. First, we'll try to remove the case study filter and see if this changes. We have 357 possible results, which is certainly a lot more than zero. In our filter options to the left, you'll see document types. In this search, it looks like scholarly journals and trade journals are the only options available. Before we look at an individual article, let's look at some of our page options here. Up top, you can log into or create an account with ProQuest. This is separate from your ETSU account and will save information across ProQuest's databases. With an account, you can save searches and individual articles to folders. You can also create alerts when an article matches your particular search terms. When choosing an article, those available through this database have the option of full text PDF. Those you need to get through another database or interlibrary loan have the Get It at ETSU link. If you click on an article that says Get It at ETSU, it will take you to the article's page on the library catalog. You will then be redirected to another database or to the interlibrary loan page. Other information on this preview includes cited by and references. The number next to cited by is the number of articles that have cited this particular article. 
the number beside references are the number of references used for this particular article. These can be helpful if you're doing in-depth research on a particular topic. Clicking on an article that has PDF full text will bring you here. You can download, print the citation, and also look at the citations in permalink. When saving an article for later, be sure to save the permalink, not the address and the URL, as it is temporary and you'll lose track of the article. The Abstract Details tab shows you the metadata for the article including citation information and relevant subject headings. Be sure to check the subject headings for suggestions on how to build your own searches. To the right, you'll see related articles based on the article you've chosen. Be sure to double check their peer-reviewed status and date as the filters you put in place do not transfer to this function. To cite an article, click on Cite and choose your style. Be sure to double check the citations against your style handbook or Purdue OWL. You may also want to look at the basic search options. This page is helpful if you want to make sure a particular database covers the topics you're looking into. As you can see here, women's health, food and nutrition, and midwifery are all covered under this database. This particular collection can also be found under the ProQuest Central or One Academic Databases. If you decide you'd like to expand your search to other databases, you can go to Change Databases and select the options from here. Those are the basics of using Family Health Database. If you need further assistance, feel free to make a research help appointment with one of our librarians.